Hello, I'm Mark Argentiano, and I'm a neurosurgeon with over 20 years of experience. In this video, I'm going to discuss individual differences in pain tolerance. I consult on many patients because they are suffering from pain. In some cases, their pain is so severe that they're considering spinal surgery. More than 100,000 Americans decide to undergo surgery, and millions more have invasive procedures for low back pain or sciatica every year. We all know someone who has struggled with such a decision. Why do some people tolerate pain better than others? There are many possible reasons. Some reside within the hard wiring of the brain. The physical structure of the brain may be responsible for differences in pain tolerance. In 2014, a team of medical researchers reported that people with high pain tolerance have more gray matter or a greater density of brain cells in certain areas of the brain when compared to people who are more sensitive to pain. The scientists asked 116 volunteers to rate the intensity of the pain that they experienced when a patch of their skin was heated to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. At the same time, functional MRIs were performed to determine which areas of the brain were active. The neuroscientists found that the brains of the volunteers who tolerated the pain with fewer complaints had a greater gray matter density in several areas of the brain. The primary somatosensory cortex, an area of the brain that interprets sensory information, the rear part of the cingulate cortex, an area of the brain involved with emotion, learning, and memory, the precuneus, an area that allows us to feel in control of our own actions and the events in the external world, the intraparietal sulcus, an area that allows us to respond to the things we experience, and the bottom part of the parietal lobe, an area involved in the perception of emotions and interpretation of sensory information. This research, along with the work of many other scientists, helps elucidate the pathways of the brain by which we experience pain. Anatomical differences between individuals' brains may explain why certain people tolerate the pain better than others. But are the differences in the brain the cause or the effect? Some research suggests that pain, especially chronic pain, actually causes the gray matter in the areas I described earlier to waste away. Perhaps the different density of the neurons is a result, rather than a cause, of the differences in pain that an individual experiences. Does one person tolerate pain better than another because they were born with a different brain anatomy? Or did the pain that they suffered irreversibly change the wiring of their brain? Regardless of the science, I've seen pain, both acute and chronic, ruin too many lives during my career. Pain may be something that you have to battle with, but don't let the pain define who you are. I hope that the information in this video can help you or someone you love understand better what's going on and prevent the pain from taking over completely. I would love to know what you think. Feel free to leave a comment below, and if you have any questions or comments, you can also message me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.